Hello and welcome back to NO1800 Mega City Edition. Now our city is growing nicely, our big big project that we have over there. And yes, yeah, since in the new world it's a bit tricky at the moment to do anything, I would like to start and go ahead now with my Docklands main wharf building. Now bear in mind, I have no idea where we will have the final building. It could very well be here then later, the full Docklands then, right? So the Docklands is a huge modular project as well that you build up while you build up your city. And it totally makes sense to have it here for now we could have it later on though i could just move it into this area if i want to instead of the trading post here and have the huge docklands then here because that might be our trade import um city or our area or this one could very well be as well since we already have some industry here and we'll probably always have some industry it could also make sense to have the docklands just here um we still need some 60 tons of timber uh, bricks so one more ton there we have it and let's go ahead and build it build modules to add features to your docklands our very first beautiful building now in this area of course there's also a quest line now here in the background that's working with that so captain tobias here <laughs> our little drunk captain he is asking us for a couple of things and yeah basically that's this one now export import contracts we have now available with that one for starters we will build this up over time quite a bit and well it's not looking so good in here right now um we might go for the soap business though once again i do like it and the more we trade with one of these goods the higher we level them up all the way up to legendary level so the higher it goes also the more valuable it is now for soap this is usually quite a good um a good value basically that we have with the soap let's go ahead we do have 300 tons of soap available and with that we could start importing for example potatoes right not a whole lot of that yet but it it would be a good start there especially for the additional farmers that we're going to have in order to unlock more goods for the red pepper for example we need to export goods 180 first then we could go with it we don't have cotton here really we have the cotton fabrics but not the cotton the crop itself here at the moment unfortunately the cotton fabrics 20 export and import contracts and the sugarcane 1500 cotton fabrics that we need to import so we do need 20 contracts right we can only unlock these contracts by building by building us these new depots here the harbor or the export offices i'm sorry the export offices that we need and for every one of them we do get two additional um contracts then unfortunately it's going to take us a very long time all right so sugarcane importation with that or import with that is not going to happen Station. so quickly now <laughs> seriously we are being attacked right now by bente with a massive force how is that possible um i do need some more cannon towers quickly please Attention, all right Admiral. she is attacking us she's attacking crown falls with a pretty big fleet there right now all right my cannons start to fire I did not an attack, uh, expect a full-fledged out attack on the main city right away. Not in this size here. And I'm just glad that I do have some ships there right now. What is going on? Alright, at least there's the first ships going down of her. We are going to lose the first ship here now too. I don't quite believe that. Okay, we still need to act, of course. She's attacking now the full harbor area. We still have some can oh, all of our attack cannon towers are still intact. The siege of Crown Falls has started. I've lost already three ships. Where's my other ships? Let's train a few more. We're attacking the main building now. This isn't who I am. <laughs> she also tells us that. What? This is exactly who you are, you snake. Alright, another shipper is of her. Oh, we are completely down. Fleet, prepare to fire. And we lose the main building. The main building is gone. Oh, crap. This is looking really bad. We've lost the main building. 
That basically means right now that the whole city is without connection to the harbor area. Our balance is at minus 19,000. At least she's losing all her ships, but I've, I'm going to lose all of them as well. I've, I'm, only, I'm only having one ship now. That's it. The last ship is down. Holy cow. What if Princess Ching would attack now too? Then the game is over. Um, let's just see what kind of loot we have there. I cannot rebuild my medium trading post as long as Crown Falls is under siege. We are still having the siege status now. At the same time, uh, it was to be expected. Um, as soon as the white flag is gone, we are getting a full attack here too. And the, we, are, we are going to lose the, the New World Island with that. Absolutely not caring about the New World Island though right now. Yeah, there it's gone. She took it. So on this difficulty level, they're not taking the shares. They're only taking the islands directly. And we purchase a share. She's taking the shares back there as well. Oh my goodness. We are down 18k. How long is the siege lasting? I can't do anything. I can't renovate this one. Nor can I build anything that would resemble a trading post. Your people can't hold out much longer. Um, we can't build the ships right now because we don't have any workforce, right? They're not connected, and this is bad. The whole city is on lockdown right now. Nothing is working. No demand is met. They're extremely unhappy. If this um, status continues, then we will see big riots and fires now. No factories working. There are not enough hands. Nothing here is working except Captain Tobias, who comes in right now. Oh, and Nate. That's it. 18,000. We are going down on money right now. We are completely dropping. Look at that size there. <laughs> on that rate. Ooh. What is going on? Okay, three minutes until the siege is over. We need to endure these three minutes. Yet. Let's have a look at the loot in the meantime. And I'm hoping that we not lose the city. Take, we can throw overboard. Steer us forth. Seeds, bread, pig heads. Why do warships have pig heads and bread on board? A jagger. At least that is something for the Sioux. If we can actually afford to pull the Sioux at any given moment. We are also dropping really hard right now in population. Down to 14,000 now. Money is still dropping at an insane rate right now. And I still can't do anything. One more minute. We are somewhat lame. Is there any way for us to go with peace with Bente? Sky, any way at all? There isn't. Princess Ooh, Ching also really despises us there. Nothing we can do. Oh boy. We continue to drop in population below 13,000 now. Money is dropping hard still. 200,000. Almost. 10 more seconds. And let's rebuild it. The siege is over. Alright. No rides. No fire. That's a good thing. We should be going up there again. Balance is going up. Perfect. Workforce is stabilizing. That was pretty harsh. Um, we can continue building our ships. Yep, we've basically lost our whole ship there anyway, our fleet. And I will, I will need to continue building more cannon towers here now. Right? That was not enough. That was absolutely enough. They weren't doing any damage to the ships there. My heavy warships did most of it. And I will need to upgrade my, my trading post here to the higher one. To be able to sustain more power. Or, well, to also have more HP. Very important that we do these things quickly. All right. We can't give up right now. So I, I happily continue with my city building. There is, If there's another attack like this coming, I think the game would be over. Um, I don't know how many ships Princess Ching really has in this area. We still have a lot of fog where I can't see what's happening there. And Benta definitely lost her main fleet now too. Or one of her main fleets. I think there's still a lot of her ships roaming around, right? But we need to... I did not expect such a difficulty with Crown Falls, to be honest. Um, we can continue. We build more 
houses here now. So we can still squeeze them in to finish this district for good now. And also, of course, newspaper propaganda. And happiness, 15 income and 30 minus consumption. We have the timber at least, so let's go ahead and build all of them. This is turning into a revolution. Oh, and there we got the riots coming out now. But we should be having a police station close by. There it is. We can mobilize the police forces. And let's do this. All right, another district up here, blueprinted. Also this one. This one actually already has a nice police station and school and stuff and everything. We have the timber. So let's just go ahead really and build all of them. 200 timber, this cost me. And also with the fire station, the marketplace right here. We still have more timber, basically. So let's finish this whole one. And yes, with that side here, we're touching now the grain fields over there. Right, so this is kind of like the end for the city building in this area, at least until we get rid of the grain farms. Um, this whole thing, there we still have the school and the police station then for later in our funeral city. And I would like to also get ahead, go ahead and start constructing this district, even though we cannot fully finish it yet. But I would really like to use all the a productions that I have, right? So in that case here, we're still fine on the schnapps, we're still fine on the work cloth, and we're still way too fine on the fish there because only half of my fisheries are really working at the moment. Perfect. So we don't even need to reinforce any productions with that massive um, addition that we have now to our farmers. I We need to check also all the time here the mini-map that we have if there's any more attack forces coming in. Um, we can go ahead also building the next cannon towers that we have now. We're still very limited also with the harbor area, of course. And this one here still needs five more tons. There they are. So we can finally upgrade the medium trading post to the large trading post. Looking much better and also has way more Please HP points and also attack. attack power. Even though attack power is not that important, it's important that it sustains another bigger attack right on it because I think Bente rushed in and really just focused the trading post here to take it down to cripple my city like that. And we can't, we just can't afford to happen this for this to happen again. We have a bit more timber. Let's go ahead and build the next blocks. Very good. So this is really a farmer city right now in all its massiveness. At least the money's looking good. 8,000, 19,000 people, close to 20,000 there soon. And yeah, the money's going up again. This means that I can look at the shares. We can purchase the third share, right, of this island here, Com Prefecture. Two more shares are missing, and then we could take it over, but this is far away because this uh, massive cost we just don't have at the moment. And since I do have a bit of time of waiting for more timber and product or um, building materials to come in, we can also just marvel at the beauty of this town for now. Oh, poor fellow, he was in the war right now, I guess and was damaged in the process and how far we can actually see on these big empty avenues for now where there's nothing really no trains no cars down into the harbor area in this busy busy city now enough with the babbling enough with the bobbling we do need to continue our constructions and one of them would be my piggeries um i would like to go ahead with another four in this area we can then also have of course their own warehouses here once more right so let's have two more warehouses as these warehouses here serve the schnapps distilleries um so i don't want them to connect their router this is fine right so this is all completed and as we know by now we still have enough a buffer there right we have enough schnapps production we have enough work cloth production and since i'm going to level these people up to artisans eventually the consumption rates are actually going down again over time right so we still have a bit of buffer here available and then at some point it's going down again the consumptions once we upgrade to tier three let's build those the sausages the soap and the bread that's something i'm going to need longer so it's worth it to invest more into that five more piggeries we have that means let's finish those two additional slaughterhouses up there probably probably let's have another two here that i can still let's have one more and then i would like to use more of my soap production and here i can still go ahead and build two more rendering works and with that one more soap factory I will probably also need to upgrade now these warehouses there as well in the process as more and more loading ramps will be used. Ship constructed. Ah, very good. Another heavy warship is coming out. There is a small Attention, battleship attacking me. 
but that is just to distract it, I guess. He makes a statement here. And we're taking her down. Um. Oh yeah, we do need more weapons to build more ships though. Another big ship is coming out now soon. So my fleet is starting to look like something again. Until the next attack. Enough timber we have once more. Let's finish the next farmer buildings. We are coming to an end pretty soon with all the farmers spamming. Uh, this area is now finished then more or less too. Because here where the main, well, one of our main avenues is ending. Here we are going to make then a giant either museum or botanical gardens. Whatever fits more. Or even hmm, the palace. This is a nice area right at the end of this avenue surrounded by or oh, well just in the background with this waterfall of course the brick factories need to go but other than that this might be a very beautiful area later on that we can use for something big the same could be said for this area for this very beautiful area just beside the river then here there's also the uh, other avenue then crossing into this one um we might then build something smaller here like for example um a bigger um, museum or a bit bigger bank um here we can still make that uh, connection now with the riverland island that we have this is going into riverland so there we have then another island that we could now use and then this one and so many bridges holy cow it's very expensive really let's finish those houses there as well and the remaining timber that i have i would really like to use now for some mass upgrading of farmers to workers so there's still some people not upgraded here in this area which is rather yeah central as i should say in this beautiful town this is really a nice a nice view here right now with the bridges with the river an idyllic picture with the police station as the tallest building and some fires some occasional fires they just belong to the city now, we can, of course, still go ahead here with the upgrading. Over here, we have more farmers that I can upgrade. Let's go ahead and do this. And then I would like to continue in this area. Now, what is missing? I'm pretty sure that the marketplace is missing. We have one here. We have one here. And we probably... We have a bit of bricks. Yes, we probably will extend the reach with the paved roads. So, this way... And those guys here then also with another paved road on that side. The occasional ruins here we need to repair, of course. There's been some fires, some riots as usual. Now, all of these people here want to upgrade. Let's give what they want. That's 200 timber that's being consumed right off the bat. Perfect. Lots of new taxpayers pushing us towards 10,000. Hopefully, we're also above 20,000 now. And also, on that side here, these people that I've just built, we can also go safely ahead now and upgrade this block here. Um, and then probably those guys there too. They will probably still need something like, yeah, a better reach from the marketplace. Um, we can do this, as always, with some paved roads then, going right in here. And it's probably also safe to use this marketplace here to make a better connection over And as expected, our productions in soap or in sausage, soap and bread are going to take a hit from these consumptions. The beer is now um, equal, so it's at zero. We need to reinforce that. The other ones, while still struggling a bit, are still fine here in the surplus. And schnapps is also struggling a bit, um, just to my surprise. Well, what we still could do to counter that is by increasing the productivity. Now, I said it would be tricky. For the farmers, it should be fine to do it. Um, as we can see, 25% across the board. So potato farms and the um, schnapps distillery is only nets to minus three happiness so that is fine to use for now and with that we should counter that other but other than that i would just probably need to import some potatoes and oh wait we are doing this the soap is what we're importing here let's actually trade 100 soap for the potatoes here and um, we've already traded 50 soaps as we can see here because soap has been exported 50 out of 180 times before we can unlock the red pepper and with the additional potato that we do get in we will be able, oh, it's actually capped. We will be able to just have more schnapps distilleries. So, in fact, I don't need to have the productivity increase for the schnapps distillery. And they just work the 25% here without any penalty at all. And I can have these additional schnapps distilleries, well, then just piling up here as well. A fire broke up. Oh, and then the fire. Many fires and riots here right now. The riots, I think, are still leftovers from the siege that we had. The unhappiness that this caused. So I think we will be fine long-term-wise. Right now, though, of course, we need to have very high caution. Um, let's build another heavy warship. We can do this since we have enough timber again. I would, we still need to focus a bit on our fleet building there as well. And we go ahead with the next upgradings. Yes, how very nice. We can now almost 
upgrade all of them here, at least this block, which is very important. This one here, are you kidding me? Is this for real? This Your guy here for real? Under attack. My harbor is under attack. Oh boy. They're actually... Let's move my, my docklands away here real quick. Your island is Ooh, under that attack. was quick. That was... Oh, alright. It's getting destroyed in the process. This time it's Princess Ching that is attacking us. And I will stop... Can we... We cannot move it while an enemy is nearby. I will need to stop building that right now because she's going to destroy the shipyard. There's nothing I can do about this. We are not going to lose the trading post this time, though. Alright, Princess Ching it is now, not Bente. Bente will come after her. <laughs> Let's just check in the meantime what is happening here with the island. Uh, we can take another share now. She purchased one back, but we are still increasing our influence here for another 80,000 since we have 10,000 on the balance. This is Your actually a possible way. Under attack. Bear in mind, though, if we take this island really over, it's going to be very tricky because there's not going to be a white piece for this island. It's going to be ready for the taking immediately. So we do need to have some proper ships available once we start taking it. Um, Yeah, she's just destroying my harbor buildings here. It's going to be easy to replace them. This one is the hard nut for her as well. And this one is not something that she can take lightly. Right, we continue with building the ships. I will probably... Get rid of one of these buildings here once we can do this Your after the siege. Is under attack. We continue with upgrading some more buildings. Perfect. This little guy here can now be upgraded as well. So this whole block is coming together nicely with more workers now. And then, since we do have now some other materials left as well, I could go ahead and upgrade more people to artisans. And I'm doing this with those guys. Now, after destroying every single building that we had on this side, she is backing off again. It's going to be very expensive. Yeah. Especially for the, the steel beams and the windows to replace these uh, the docklands there. So the docklands does need a proper defense. And we didn't lose anything else though, so I will just have to rebuild them. The main harbor area is still untouched. There's also a, sm a smaller Can quest. The boy would take my lovely Rebecca now. away, but I shall not let him. A photograph of the duel shall prove the lengths to which I'm willing to go for her. Alright, so these are the little problems my citizens have, <laughs> and we're helping them out. An affair of honor that is Help, somewhere over here, and we need to take a photo. There it is. I don't see the duel per se, but I guess... I think there it is, right, somewhere here. Behind the school, of course, where everyone can watch. And we do get something nice out of that. Man, Duck's duel, absolute power, ducks out of a duel for the love of his life. Oh, he abandoned it. He obviously didn't love her enough to die for it. And what is the item that we get? A cast iron stove. All food production buildings get plus 30% productivity and the chance of fire minus 20%. This is a really good item. Plus 30% productivity for all food production buildings. All right. So for example, we could have this one up here for all the bakeries that we have. Why not? Now, with all the upgrades, I fear, yes, that um, two things are happening. First of all, the work cloth is really down. Um, we should have a good surplus of wool. We have, and of wool production, we don't. So, let's go ahead and try it here. 25% and 25%. This is possible for now. Perfect. And at the same time, we are going to finish the next two grain farms that we have in this area still. We should still have two more hops plantations. And also another malt house now. Bear in mind, we still had, beside the other two grain farms, already two grain farms that were just getting grain in. So this is working now. I could probably build another one, but I'm not doing that right now. And then let's build this warehouse and two more breweries just down here as well to push my beer a bit. So far, so good. This is rather stressful at the moment because I did not expect these large-scale attacks on my main city. It will be tricky how we can defend it, right? If we do lose our main fleet every time we get a massive attack, we will not progress very quickly. We'll just see about that. Stay tuned.